Hey guys, I'm here to bring nine tips. Nine tips for new users of the At Games Legends Pinball. Hey, appreciate all your support. Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks to Lowell Cunningham, by the way. He asked in one of the previous videos if I could do some tech tips. These are less techy. It's just kind of more hardware based and more practical and, and functional kind of tips, but there's a little bit of tech involved. Anyway, let's dive right in. Tip number one. When I first got the game, I loved it. I was playing it and enjoying it. One thing that bugged me though was the reflection of the Legends Pinball Marquee on the play field. It was shining really bright and would literally distract you from your game. One of the tips I read was to put cardboard or paper behind it and that's what I did. I used cardboard, just taped up cardboard behind it. You can also unplug the lights up there. That's another solution for it. Either way, it's a lot better without that reflecting off the glass. So that's tip number one. And that segues nicely with tip number two. To get to that marquee, you gotta pull off the cover in the back. Pulling off the cover in the back is easy when you still have the key you got. Now, it took a while, but I finally found it and I pulled it off and I was able to put the cardboard up there to block the light. But they give you just one key and it begs the question, why lock it at all? Is there a rash of, you know, breaking and entering where they're pulling the backs off pinball tables and pulling out the guts when you're not home? What I did, I went and I bought a lockless cam and I haven't installed it yet, as you see, but I got this and I'm gonna put this in and that way I won't need the key at all. Then I was thinking, why even put it back on? In the past couple weeks, I haven't had it on at all. You can't tell, keeps it nice and cool back there. So it's just a logical step. You don't need to lock it. You don't even need it on. But if you want it on, I suggest you get the non-locking cams and I'll have a link below. Which leads us into another silky smooth segue, getting back there to take the back off and to do work in the back. Make sure you put the pinball table in a place where it's easy to get access behind it or unable to pull it out. I didn't do that, that's a mistake I've made. It sits nicely into this little corner of my little game room, but it ain't easy to work on. So make it, if it's possible, make it in an easily accessible area. And that's tip number three. Tip number four, if you wanna have some fancy game room style toppers, like I got up there, I suggest you use some double-sided tape to make sure they're plenty secure. I didn't do that at first because I don't use the shaking method for my, my screen. I use the button to nudge. But every now and then you get really into it, you get emotional, you don't realize what you're doing. And I had something topple right down, smack, right on the glass. Thank God it didn't break the glass, but it made me really paranoid. So ever since then, it's all about having them taped up there quite secure. Do that. Tip number five. We're on five already? Man, we are flying through these. Uh, tip number five, we're getting into a little bit of the technical side of things, but those that know me know I'm not a real techie guy, but I know just enough to be dangerous. Anyway, this has to do with connecting the PC to the Legends Pinball via OTG. And the tip is use 90 degree connectors like I got there. Uh, you can get them for both the HDMI and the USB, and it just keeps it a lot neater. 90 degree connectors, see the link below on where to get them. Tip number six, connecting the PC to the Legends Pinball can be a little tricky when it comes to the USB. Uh, one thing that is helpful is to use a powered USB hub. When it comes to USB, the Legends Pinball can be particularly finicky. Sometimes you'll need a very short USB, sometimes a long one will work just fine. Your mileage may vary. Tip number seven, lucky seven. The At Games Legends Pinball comes with 22 tables. They have other tables available for download. To do so though, you need to use your own USB. I use 16 gigabyte sticks that I got from Amazon. Uh, I think four or five in a pack, they were very inexpensive. I'll have the link below. You simply follow the instructions to format it and mount it and then download the tables onto it. I have used other USBs as well. It doesn't seem particularly picky about it, although I have read that other people have had some issues with their sticks. I know this one works. If you want one that works, this will do the trick. So when using Pinball Emporium and having your PC connected to it, you will have to use your keyboard occasionally when adding credits or starting a game. I had a guy ask me about it in one of the videos that I had about my keyboard, and I wanted to show you which keyboard I used. It's a simple one that I ordered off Amazon. I'll put a link below. I guess you can call this tip number eight. 
good keyboard to use. Fits nicely right on the Legends pinball, stays out of the way, and it works great. And the final tip number nine is a gentleman asked me about the speaker covers I got. And those are from Etsy, and I'll give you a link below. The guy's real good on doing custom work for you. These were not shown in his selection, but he was super quick. Once I sent him an image of what I wanted, he's awesome. I recommend using him. So there it is, nine tips for new users of the AT Games Legends Pinball. If you haven't joined the Facebook group, the official AT Games Legends Pinball group, I recommend it. There's a lot of really smart folks there, and everybody's super helpful. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Keep those flippers flipping, and we'll see you on the next one.